Okay, Saturday morning in the kingdom, and I'm live on location like Les Nessman. If you haven't figured that out, have a drink. All right, last night I kind of beveraged, all right, but I was able to paint. Look at that, eh? I have talent. Ooh, shall we try it this way? Oh, God, that doesn't work. Does it work? I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't do that, eh? All right, bring it back around. I don't know, are we upside down? Did it go? I don't know. But there we go. Look at that. It says Puck Off Dick. Yes, because he's flying his helicopter over my yard. Yeah. So I'll get into more trouble painting that on my roof, on my property, you know, than him endangering my life every day. Yes. We have video of him leaving the airport and head south and then fly to the kingdom to line up perfectly with my office window. Yes, and he's hanging a net underneath the helicopter. So isn't that premeditated? Thinking, you know, you just fly over the old guy's house? You know, 30 years ago, I'd phone the mining company in Toronto. They would turn around, phone this kid at the hotel and tell him not to fly over the old guy's house. But it's just a joke. When they do phone the Toronto mining company and they actually return my call, they say they'll address the situation, and two days later, Dick's flying through my yard at a low altitude sideways, and everybody's looking out the windows of the helicopter and smiling at the old guy. Yes, so that's what the new world is, okay? So I'll get into more trouble for doing this, or setting off fireworks to celebrate the, my birth of my goldfish or whatever, gender revealing party for my goldfish, but Dick can continue to endanger my life for three summers in a row. So that tells you what the world is today. And this mining company will come to town, screw it everything up, make big promises and leave, just like everybody else. We've seen it all before, yeah. And to think that I just about drank the Kool-Aid when I was involved with the mining and exploration industry. I am so glad we're no longer involved with it. Oh yes. And those other guys that are gonna drill new targets are doing press releases. We're gonna do a study in opening the mine here. The other one. Well, geez, go to 2007 and look at the Waldorf report. You know, they only wanted $193 million to reopen it. So, well, 20 years later almost, let's reopen it again or try again. Just make it 293 million. What a waste, but it's all stock pump and dump. So they get rich and we make them, we live in the mess and the pro, and broken promises that they make. All right. But the vodka tasted so good as I painted that last night. Ooh, enough of this intro rant. Okay. This morning, plus 13. But feels like 12. So it's going to be a shitty day when you start your day off at plus 13. There is no 13th floor, no 13th chapter in my book. But there's always a positive side. Plus 55 Fahrenheit. The good car, good truck, and the Chevy lines. And feels like plus 54. So that's going to be a good day. So every time you see a negative, there's always a positive. My cup of coffee is always half full of vodka. Yes, it's never half empty because we keep topping it up with the vodka. Yes, and today the staff is shopping uptown. Yes, so she'll get all the groceries and everything for we to survive another week here in, in the land. I don't know what we call it. Yeah, Whoville. We'll just call it Whoville. All right. Oh, did I show you my signature? I had trouble painting the S. You see the S there? The vodka just kind of flowed too much, so I went over the lines, just like in my coloring book in grade three. Oh, we better not talk about grade three. I spent a couple years there. All right, a little bit of a wind there, so let's scroll this way. All right, look at that. The sun is up, clear sky, no Alberta smoke. Oh, there's a little bit of wind. I don't know if you guys are picking that up. All right, look at the flags over there. They're happy, just like me. Yeah, I'm happy. We're going to have a fun day today in the kingdom. Finish up some loose ends on that 41 Chevy 4x4. Yes, it's coming along slowly. But yesterday we did all that welding. Yeah. All right, let's scroll a little bit more. Try not to get dizzy and fall off the roof, okay? I don't know if my paint's still wet. I put it on pretty thick, you know. All right. I think I'm getting dizzy. 
All right, that sun is bright and warm. You can feel it on the side of my face. All right, I better go before Dick comes along and takes a picture of me on my roof. All right, the boss is coming. Saturday morning here in the kingdom and just finished shopping in Whoville. Grab some water so I can feed my potato plants. Water these bad boys and then go finish painting what my dad did last night. Saturday morning in the kingdom here. Up on the roof fixing my dad's paint from last night. He got a little too drunk off the vodka, so I had to come up and fix this. Doesn't look too bad, but there's a few spots that he clearly missed in here. He doesn't have very straight lines, but nothing in our life is ever straight, like me. Got it all touched up here, it looks a lot better. Time to go home and play with my garden. Okay, smoky morning in the kingdom. The flags are there. There's a slight breeze, which the Lily Tomlin Mike will pick up. And we'll scroll this way. Oh, I feel a cough coming on. <coughs> oh, 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 God, I'm not going to make it. It's too smoky out here. Just like when I was a little kid riding in the car with mother smoking her cigarettes. All right, here we go. And the staff has showed up. Yeah, to get my beer. She's already put her my beer in her to-go bag, so she's up on the roof there uh, fixing my screw-ups from last night when I was painting with a three-inch brush. So she has the little one out there, and we'll dress it up so it looks good in the pictures when Dick takes him from his helicopter as he flies over the kingdom at a low altitude. All right, I better get to work. The boss is coming. Okay, using the shop press here to straighten out the tailgate for the 41 Chevy. So I put the fork on the board or the tailgate, and bend it straight so it looks good in the pictures. Okay, let's try this again. I put a piece of bounty paper towel, the quicker picker upper over the Lily Tomlin mic to see if we can get rid of this wind noise. This is getting boring. I'm gonna have to learn these things when I move to Wyoming. So I welded the pins back on, or the one side, so now the pins are on the box, so the tailgate slides off to the side. We did a nice booger weld here, and then we gotta put the never seize on here. So while I'm filming this numerous times to get it right, it'll cool down and then the never seize will fit. Okay, so we got this done right, so it's looking good. This tailgate will slide on and off for ease of removal, so we can, well, how would you say, hoverboard the mini hoe. After lunch here in Whoville, getting ready to make another planter out of a five gallon pail, poke a bunch of holes in the bottom and cut the top off and it's perfect. Throw some rocks in and some sticks and there you go. After lunch here, getting ready to move these guys over, just got way too much going on in here. These guys are what getting moved and then we're gonna move some rhubarb as well, get these two out of here and free up some space for this to grow. In the center there we got carrots. That's why there's nothing there, because that's where all my carrots are. Alrighty, got my cauliflower all put together. My lettuce is looking good here. Time to set these guys outside for some sunshine before the rains come. It's way too hot here. Got everything moved. Now it's time to go outside and fix voodoo steps. Nothing's died yet, so that's good. These are wild raspberries from the kingdom. A little windy here in Whoville, but look how purple that's getting. Okay, after lunch in the kingdom, I'm outside. There's a slight breeze, and I got my bounty picker upper paper towel over the Lily Tomlin mic, so let's see how this works out. I need to whip up a little grill guard to keep the trees from going through my California rads. Yes, we bought six of these. Aluminum rads on eBay through a fellow in California. They're the champion brands and they took a licking when they were shipped here and they survived All right, so let's whip up a grill guard or rad protector so we can head to the bush or the wilderness Alaska, but in northern Manitoba 
Okay, I'm in out of the wind and I'm inside the steel van trailer. Yes, we have a steel tank shed which has steel in it. We actually have two of those. We are, usually don't go with the green one because it's not the good steel. All right, so the staff is going to have to put this stuff in here. All right, as we get going here, but well, we also got some plate steel here. Okay, over there to make the Lombard skis. All right, so we set everything in here, trying to keep it organized because if we ever leave or I die, this uh, semi trailer can be purchased at my estate sale and the bidder will buy on this. Uh, the bidder will buy a van trader full of recycled steel. Okay, so somewhere in here, we've tried to keep it organized. It's getting echoey. I'm not sure if the Lily Tomlin mic is editing anything out. Okay, so back here we got some wire mesh. You can laugh all you want. We save everything because mo everything costs money at the end of the world including these one inch steel wear plates for the mine. Anything with a tapered hole in it was for a bolt hole, bolt to go through. So the bolt was tapered and it was flush, okay? So that's of great importance in case I ever go into the uh, aggregate business or need wear plates that'll never wear out, we have a whole pallet, okay? So over here, there should be some wire mesh and we can find some angle iron so we can booger weld up a grill guard for the 41 Chevy. Okay, to make a grill guard, we're gonna figure things out. So I know the fact that I gotta hang the transmission cooler off the grill guard here, and we know if I make it and try and drill the holes on there, that's pointless. So what I've done, this is all recycled steel from those two sheds we knocked down or, or recycled and cut up with the plasma cutter. So I know if I measure and measure, it's not gonna work. So what I did was I set the, I forget what these things are called, the pointy things. So I measured off using the pointer things on the transmission cooler. And then I make sure that the center of the pointers fit in the center of the holes. Plus I'm smart enough that at my age, I drill extra big holes. So a quarter inch hole, we go three eighths and we'll still miss it. So it'll end up being an oval hole with the die grinder. Okay, so this should work out good. We're hoping. And also too, we know the fact that we have to clamp it down, like off in, to push down on this flat bar so it doesn't raise up at the other end there. Pretty smart thinking. We only learned that uh, about 20 years ago and still forget once in a while. All right, so let's fire up the arc welder and have fun. The horse flies have also joined me. It's getting warm or whatever outside, but that freaking wind is unreal. I think we're in Wyoming or Saskatchewan if you're in Canada. So the horse flies are joining me inside the shop. So they've had numerous meals and bites on me by my body already. Unreal, the things I do for fun. Okay, coffee time in the kingdom and I got the welds done on the rod cradle. That looks good with the holes drilled right there. I did a test feed and the transmission cooler actually lines up. So it's not a half a hole out or anything. Okay, so we need a little curved top there to give it perception, depth, or whatever. So we kind of used the American-made roller to bend that flat iron. That wasn't all that flat either. So let's go look at the American-made roller system. Okay, we're outside in the wind, and this is the American-made roller system that we use, okay? The M16 military wrecker, or roto record, made famous by Jamie Davis. So you take your piece... And stick it in here you see that and then it rolls okay you can work it around play around with it get it to work go over here on this side whatever all right but it works better when you got flat steel not the piece of wood on the way out the shop door but if this is a demonstration purposes only and it's freaking windy okay the american roller system doesn't make a true roll all the time i don't know under why it might be the vodka or the beer so we put it on the crane thing here on the welding table. Okay, see, there we are. That's the welding table. And this is the crane thing. Now we beat it into submission using the hammer. Yes, so I'll pound on it and hopefully get it to make it look like a curved piece. If not, it'll end up being flat. Oh, well. Okay, after beating on the curved part a couple of times or several minutes up on the crane thing, I got it kind of round. I laid it on the work table here and I got the chalk out and I marked it. So I laid it upside down, made the curve with the, pen, with the chalk, flipped it over and took a look. So it was fairly close. 
We're within a quarter of an inch or an eighth of an inch or whatever, but who cares? This is a temporary grill for this truck that'll be on there 25 years from now and probably at my estate sale. And everybody will laugh because it was built as temporary and it's still on there. Okay, to close in the piece on the top, the curved piece, I went to the steel shed and got a piece of locker. Yes, lockers from the mines. So these are 1950s or, oops, the burps again, peanuts, oh well. And freaking windy out here. Okay, so I went and got a piece of the bolt together lockers, all right? And it's bent, twisted, and stuff like that. A couple minutes with the plasma cutter, and it cut it out pretty good. So I laid it on, I marked the X, which side is up or whatever, flipped it over, it was in within reason. Yes, all right, we're not building a Titan sub to go to the Titanic, we're building something to go out and hit a tree with. All right, let's get back to work. Okay, I was able to weld the panel there for the locker. That is thin material, yes. And the paint on that thing makes it want to burn back. So I did little stitch weld welds. Okay, little spot welds. So now after I buffed it up, it looks like we're one of those rat rotter fellas, you know, making her look good. Also too, I carried that big yellow screen back. So I get my exercise carrying everything around the yard. Okay, so we've got enough strength in here now because, and the first plan was to take the transmission cooler and tie strap it to the yellow mesh there and it has the bigger holes. So then we went and carried, got carried away here with this temporary grill guard, which is gonna last 25 years. So now we can use this finer mesh for making sure the trees don't come through. But the finer mesh also has little holes in it, hack marks and stuff like that. So then this one here, okay, I'm not sure if you're familiar with mesh, but this is a, a sharp, oops, hands over here. Okay, I know my mesh, but I, can, I don't know how to work the camera. Okay, so this mesh here is gritty or whatever, sharp. So if you want to drag it through the snow to make your road smooth, this is the stuff you use, okay? But a heavier quality. And this is what they call that flat mesh. So it's nice and smooth to the touch. You know, you could slide across there on your bare bum. Okay, I'm not sure why you want to do that. So we can utilize the plasma cutter and the Asian welder, or the MIG welder, the Asian MIG welder, to get this mesh and everything on. So it's gonna look pretty good, and then we'll splash the paint on it, and we should make it look pretty good. And then we'll just booger weld it onto the grill, or onto the 41, and hopefully it all works out. Okay, I'm using the Asian welder, which is gasless. Okay, I'll scroll this way, so the new viewers will know all about the Asian welder, because those Lincolns died or whatever, okay? All right, there it is. Okay, back over here. What I did, instead of using the plasma cutter, the skill saw, or the chop saw, or whatever, to cut the mesh, I used the side cutters and the thin snips, and nipped it away. Okay, so over here, we have all these little ends here, okay? But as you can see, the ends get bent over when you're using that sturdy wire wheel, okay? So you have to be very careful, because this wire wheel will destroy this fine mesh, but we also need the wire wheel to get rid of the rust because we don't have any money to go buy uh, the new material. So what we're doing is crank up the heat. You do your welds on the material and then you're trying to get it to flow over. So this one here is a bigger weld that's a miss. Okay, a mistake, like my marriage. So all these other ones I got it to burn out and the little ends are actually folding in nicely or melting in. So it takes a little bit of work and we made sure we got the holes clear to bolt that trans cooler on. So it's just plugging away. So we're learning this Asian welder being gasless because we grew up in the world of gas welders, but nobody can afford the gas. Well, the gas is cheap. It's the demerge and the fees and all the charges that they um, based you with in this new world, you can't afford it. So, okay, so it'll be one beer to weld this mesh on and we'll be done and then we can splash some paint. Okay, making a mess, but I had to paint the inside before I welded it on, okay? So we kind of lined it up square with the radiator sort of thing. Okay, it's looking good. But I knew I was going to make a mess getting that paint in and painting mesh is hard. Okay, so let's walk back here. Oh, this wind here is just unreal. But okay, walk and talk at the same time, jiggly wiggly. Okay, all right, so what I did was toss it in the back of the truck here. Now we're gonna have that sun glare. Okay, so I tossed it in the back of the truck here, all right, and painted the mesh, okay? 
So then all the paint dripped down on here, and then I smoothed it out before it dries. Okay, trying to hide out of the wind. I'm not sure how this is turning out, but that the grill guard turned out good. It'll be temporary for 25 years, and then we'll look at improving it. I just kind of welded some braces on the front, so if I do hit a tree, it doesn't take out the aluminum rad. Okay, let's walk back here. Uh, the wind kind of died down a little bit, but it'll get up. We splashed the paint over here too on the fender wells, okay, that we made. Everything has to look good for pictures because YouTube is our only income. Oh, also to Amazon book sales. And we splashed the paint on this side. So doesn't that look good? All right. I like to soak the bottles that are found in the kingdom in some Dawn dish soap and hot water a few times. Give them a good shake to get all that nasty stuff out from inside. They come out looking pretty good after you repeat this process a bunch. These guys have been soaking a few times here and they're just about ready to be cleaned and put on the shelf with their skin. This is what they look like after they are washed and dried. These are all found in the kingdom. As far as I can tell, that is an unopened club beer right there. Time to end the day by filling in some holes she dug under her steps. We don't want them falling over while she's climbing up them. She is old. These are all built out of recycled wood from the kingdom. And this is her door to get in and out of the house. See, already laying where I have to fill in. You can't lay there. I gotta fill that in. She does not care. I gotta fill that in, you know. Voodoo. Well, I think she's happy. Got it fixed the best I can. Even dug her little trench there. Hopefully it keeps her from digging under her steps. Probably not, though. End of the day here. These two are enjoying the sunshine. She is anyways. This one here would rather be in the doghouse. Can't leave my phone alone. He will lay here all day long. Look at all that room he has. All recycled plywood and two by fours. Alright, time to go drink some beer. Okay, with it being warm here, it feels warm. I don't know what the temperature is, but we're probably going to get a thunderstorm tonight. Okay, let's scroll this way. You can see the poofy clouds there. All right, we got to get that screaming Ford out for a run, but it's been too windy. We got to make some music, as they say. All right, the Alaskan flag is in its natural state of being untangled because it's an independent state. The Canadian flag is wrapped up. The U.S. flag has a couple of wraps on it, just like what the country is today, but it's surviving. All right, let's go drink some beer, make a video, oh, and walk the dogs. Talk to you later.